Hey, okay, so Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I teach you how to make money teaching paint parties. So I'm actually going to give you, first off, an art studio tour. Um, it is going to be redone. I can't wait. The summer, I think, I hate to say it, and then I don't commit to it, but maybe y'all can hold me accountable. Hey, Kathy, go ahead and say hi as you come on. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be redoing my art studio. So I was gonna give you an art studio tour and then also tell you all about what is going on. Hey Donna, hey Mary, what all is going on with the Paint and Business Boot Camp? So if you have already signed up for the Paint and Business Boot Camp, high five, and um, we're gonna have a lot of fun. So I'll give, I'll answer a few questions about that too. And then I'm gonna give you all a tour. So do y'all wanna see my disgusting mess? Anybody? Hey Patty. Hey, Linda, let's see if y'all want to see the disgusting mess. I think y'all think, oh, Melody, you're new here. Well, welcome. <laughs> Melody, this may not be the perfect live for you to watch if you're new because you're about to see a mess behind the scenes. Hey, Leslie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Crystal. Okay, so let me know if you want to see the disgusting mess. Okay, I'm getting a lot of hearts, so I think that means yes. Edith says yes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna show you my art office and then I'm also going to show you behind the scenes. Please don't judge too much. Hey Dee, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're on here. Hey Angela. Yeah, Angela says she needs to redo her art studio. Yeah, I just got my hair done. Do you like it? It takes a little bit for this to fade out. So my daughter's like, you have gray hair. I'm like, be quiet, it'll fade. Okay, so um, high five, psyched, my mess problem worse. I don't know, okay, so Okay, so here is my art office. So just a heads up, a lot of y'all, there's Blue's bed right there. A lot of y'all just see this part of it. So when I'm doing a live, you see only that. Well, here's the real me. <laughs> I'm disgusting, okay? So my husband is totally opposite. I have problems, and we're working on these problems by putting lots of notes and then trying to work on stuff. Does anybody else have 500 tabs open and everything on their desk. So this is me. Sheila says mine is terrible. So and this is kind of like my my ground zero where everything is happening. Um, hey, Christine. Oh, Charlie's her, well, hello, Charlie the hubby. And hello, Christine. Okay, so this I kind of have like a lot of my my records, stuff like that. And, and I love, you know, my oils there. And then this is the first area of my art studio. So this is a huge, huge mess. Um, and then I have a silhouette over on this side. So right here, sometimes you'll see me going live here. Yeah, Cindy, I'm about to show you all my art studio. This is, oh, and my dad made this. I'm actually gonna do a live and paint this for y'all too. So for those of y'all that are brand new, Robin says I need a 100% craft room makeover. <gasps> Wouldn't it be so cool if one day, oh my gosh, I just had the most brilliant idea. Ah, I pray my company gets big enough one day that I could be like, yes, let's do art studio makeovers. I know, I just went totally squirrel from the paint party business. So I probably don't even need to say that. <laughs> but wouldn't that be so fun if like we did art studio? Oh, that would be so cool. Um, Amy says, yes, lots of notes for me too. And um, Wendy says, got to do a cleanup on my end as well. Cindy says, yes, all the time. There's just time that I can't find my stuff I just put down. I know, Cindy, that's what I struggle with. Okay, so that is, that's my art office. It's a disaster. And then I'm going to show y'all my art studio. So... It's um, it's not real good, but it's still a disaster. So I'm always getting boxes in everywhere. And then um, what I want to do, though, is I want to pull all the carpet out um, because Blue, I, I think he thinks my art studio is his bathroom. So I'm trying to pull all the carpet out. And then I want to do, y'all know, I want to do murals on everything. Um, this is a painting a girl did for me, which I absolutely love. And then I wanna have um, murals all over on this side too. So I used to, I had a paint wall and I changed it. Hey, William, hey, Wendy. And I changed it and did all of these cabinets. So the cabinets hold all of the paint, which um, they're just filled with paint. So I have tons and tons of paint that I use, but um, I still wanna go back and actually do the um, paint wall. So for those of y'all, um, that saw my last art studio, everything was like painted on the wall and I wanna make sure I do that again. So what I wanna do real quick is um, 
is kind of share with y'all what we're doing with the paint and business boot camp, and I want to answer a few questions for you as well. So, um, first off, for those of y'all that don't know me, I know Sherry. She says you need to paint that room. I know every time I come in here, I'm like, I just need paint. Like, I just need to get this room painted. Um, it is driving me nuts. And then I got a TV, which the light will hit, hit you, but. The TV back there, it usually is only turned on um, during like the fall and Christmas season. And that's when I put all like my Hallmark movies and stuff like that on. And then I can just paint and all of that great stuff. Um, so for those of y'all that um, have been, you know, watching, how many of y'all on here? Hey, Jamie. Hey, Deb. Um, hey, Vicki. Hey, Liz. Yes, my kitchen table. Yeah, I painted at my kitchen table for so many years. So if you don't have an art studio... Y'all, use your kitchen table. Let us know in the comments how what you paint on because I think the biggest thing is is just having, whether it's your kitchen table, we have people that literally have used um, TV trays to paint on. So I am very, very, very thankful for this art studio, but I did not always have um, this art studio. So now I just want to make it awesome. So when I start to redo it, I'll make sure if y'all are interested to do some lives and show you. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the um, the paint the paint and business boot camp. If you want to know about it, it's only fifteen dollars, and it is um, happening March sixteenth, seventeenth, and eighteenth. And so for fifteen bucks, we're gonna have three full days. Well, let me take that back. Seven p.m. each night, but on on Tuesday or on Wednesday, and um, I'm going to be showing you setup. I'm going to be showing you behind the scenes of a live paint party that I'm at. So you're going to get to experience this all from the comfort of your own home. So it's like you're a fly on the wall, and so you'll learn. So it's kind of like the gray Gray's Anatomy, like you. You learn one, you watch one, you teach one. <laughs> Same kind of thing. Um, Deb says, you used to have a trailer with snakes. I know, yes, for those of y'all that are like, oh, I want that big of an art studio. I used to live in a trailer that had many snakes that tried to attack me. I had a water mock skin attack my head. Um, I, it was so, so scary. So scary. <laughs> so I have, I have literally like, I, I've had so many crazy situations. Um, yeah, we, yeah. For me to tell y'all all the stories, oh my gosh, y'all would y'all would probably like be what the heck? I've had many people tell me I should write a book, and I'm like, I ain't got no time to write a book. We got we got stuff to paint. So um so yeah, so this right here, I'm gonna teach you step by step all the tracers. We're gonna be doing tons of prizes. I'm giving away a hundred and fifty dollar Archon mount. I'm giving away um tons of stencils, lots of different things. If you have not texted me yet, if you did not get the text, oh, hold on, let me switch this. Um, and the link to join the boot camp is posted below. If you have not texted me yet, will you go ahead and screenshot this? Because this is very, very important. Anytime I have something really big going on or I'm going live, I'm gonna text you um, so that you can, um, be notified. Okay. So we will have this day one. So you're going to be able to paint this beautiful painting day two. Um, oh, and if your kids are on spring break, you can totally watch the replay. So that's, that's an option too. So day two, I'm going to, um, have you like see me behind the scenes setting up for a paint party and you're going to be able to, um, oh, and the last day to sign up, you'll be able to actually sign up by March 15th. I would sign up at 15th at the latest. So on Wednesday, you're going to see me behind the scenes. You're going to see me actually doing um, paint party setup. You'll see me doing paint party um, um, cleanup. You'll actually see me teaching a paint party live. Like we'll have the entire thing streamed for you. And then on day three, we're going to do a breakdown. So we're going to talk about like how, how you're able to make money through teaching a paint party, how you're able to, um, you know, look at supplies, all of the details that sometimes get lost in translation. We're going to, we're going to go through that. So a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you know, this is a lot of information. Why would she share this? Y'all, I come from the place of there is plenty out there. I come from the place of, um, you know, I want 
you know, there's only one of me. I can only teach so many paint parties. And I truly feel like, you know, my gift is sharing God's love through art. And there is nothing better than being at a paint party when you see somebody that just needs like a break from life and they put down their phone for two hours and they paint. And then they have something really cool to show for it. So um, Melissa says, if we're in Paint Party Headquarters, do we still pay and sign up? No, Paint Party Headquarters gets this event for free. So Paint Party Headquarters, um, it's in the announcements. So go to the announcements, click on it, and it'll let you in there for free. So we'll have a private Facebook group. It's a pop-up group that will last until March 31st, but you'll have um, a chance to watch, rewatch the videos at any time. But the key here is really, if you can be there live, and um, you know, if you were here for the fall ball, like we had around 4,000 people join that event and we were giving away prizes left and right. So if you can be there live, it's really, really fun. And um, the $15, you know, covers your cost to watch all three days and you can watch the recordings and we'll give you a supply list. We'll give you tracers, all of that. And then I'm going to be, um, I don't mind, like if you have, um, Let's say you have your daughter or granddaughter over. I totally don't mind if you have people watching it for the one price. That's totally fine with me. Um, Terry says, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you, Terry? Hey, guys. Go ahead and ask if you have any questions. Annie says, these are so fun. If you have never participated in one of Heidi's boot camps or challenges, you're in for the bang for your buck. Can't wait to see what creative juices come out of me on this one. I know, isn't it? They're really, really fun. So yeah, if you haven't done this yet and you're interested, and of course we have prizes for like most creative, um, you know, colors, most creative surface, most creative background, um, all kinds of stuff like that. Let me switch this real quick. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, awesome. Okay, so who has any questions? And Janine says, the best coach is a confident coach. Thank you for being willing to share all this in your boot camp. Oh, you're so welcome. And um, like I said, I think um, so many people are trying to, you know, whether they're, you know, just wanting to come to paint with me or they're wanting to learn more um, about maybe how to get this going. I want to share all that with you so you can like not be stuck. What I've been talking to with some of the um, people lately is a lot of people are starting to feel, and let me know if this is you, starting to feel paralyzed. Like you feel like you're getting somewhere and then all of a sudden it just, whether it's life that feels like it's hitting you, whether it's, um, you know, you go to do something and somebody says no and then you feel rejected and then you stop. And um, how many of y'all are having that? Because I, I want to help y'all kind of break through that. And Kim, the dates are... March 16th, 17th, and 18th at 7 p.m. Central. And um, Patricia says, I did the witch one. Can't wait for this one. I'm so excited. It's going to be so fun. We're going all out. Like, I don't know if y'all know anything about me, but I like to over, over deliver. <laughs> Patricia says, I did the witch. Um, Angie says, um, let's see. I I added, thanks for the text back about the mason jar. Oh, good. You're welcome. Yeah, um, make sure you text me. If you have not texted me yet, go ahead and text me. And um, we try to go in and text back to that. Carla says, you have an amazing amount of practical info to share, inspires, and encourage. Oh, thank you for saying that. Yeah, Vicky says, I'm in a funk right now. How many of y'all here are in a funk? Because I want you to do something for me. Number one, if you're in a funk, um... Oh, Lydia, that is so sweet. She says she goes above and beyond. You learn so, so much, and she is so genuine and really cares about you advancing. I really do. Like I said, there is only one of me. I can only teach one, so many paint parties, and we need other people out there teaching paint parties because we know how healing it is. And, you know, years ago, I remember when I first started getting emails and messages about, like, I honestly, y'all, when I started, and then I'm going to talk about the funk. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. Keeping me on track. Let me do another note. Y'all saw my desk. So, you know, I got a bunch of notes. And I remember when I was doing paint parties, I've been doing them for over 10 years. And, and if you want to know about the boot camp, just type boot camp. So, did I say a boob boot camp? <laughs> Type boot camp. And um, so if you want to know, and we'll make sure to get you the link for it. And we also have the link pinned to the top. But um, I remember years ago when I first was doing this as um, oh Christy, I hope you're I hope you're getting better. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to get out of a funk too. I have a, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. And um, 
but years ago when I was just doing paint parties to, um, to, you know, make extra money. I mean, I was teaching full time and I was doing it on the side. And honestly, my whole goal was just to make um, extra money for my family so we could do whatever. Like, you know, if we needed extra money for bills or to go on trips. And so I was working full time and I was teaching paint parties. And then, you know, again, my whole reasoning for it was just to make some extra money. I did not realize did not realize the power of art and healing, you know, and, to, you know, I, I didn't even realize that until later in, in my life when I realized that's what was happening. And, um, and so I remember getting an email from this lady and she was like, you know, I saw your flyer for the um, paint party on, there was like a water cooler at this clubhouse. And she said, I saw the flyer for that. And um, she said, I came by myself and I wasn't sure what to expect. And then she had emailed me this long letter about how she had gone through, um, you know, PTSD and how she was so just so like not sure what to do. And she was really, really struggling. And, um, and when she came to my paint party, I remember talking to her, but I didn't know all of that was happening. I remember just going around checking on her. I knew she was quieter, but I was just going on and, you know, checking on her. And then she emailed me all that. And I thought, oh my gosh. And then it was like the more paint parties I did, the more I would get messages like that. Like, this is really great. Oh my gosh, I went and bought my own art supplies and started painting. Or, you know, now I went and did one at my friend's house and I got to lead it. Like all of these different things. And I think it is so, so, so important that, um, you know, if you have that that gut feeling that you're wanting to not only maybe learn to paint, you know, because that's where a lot of times where it starts. Um, Sherry says, boot camp question, is the training for in-person parties or online parties? It's all for in-person. So this boot camp training is totally directed towards in-person. But as you find, for those of y'all that are in paint party headquarters, I go very, very more detailed on online paint parties too. Um, but for the $15, we're, we're really studying in-person parties. So if you're in a location where you can't go in-person, you know, hopefully that will change soon. For those of y'all that are um, starting to open up, um, you know, then you can start doing that kind of stuff too. So it just depends on where you're at. But again, for $15, like you can't buy a book for $15 and I'm going to be over sharing like crazy. Um, oh, thank you, Mary. Yeah. I just got my hair. I just got my hair done yesterday. I'm excited. Um, it needed some cutting cause it was, it was getting bad. Um, so anyway, so I just want y'all to know, like, there's so many people out there that you can help. Um, and that was just by me teaching at a paint party and being kind and then realizing, oh my gosh, that really, really made a big difference. Um, and then I'm also going to tell y'all a really quick tip on how to get out of a funk that would hopefully, hopefully helps me all. And um, Annie says, maybe we can discuss during boot camp, but I am really having trouble separating my home life work studio, which in my, is in my basement home. I love my husband and family, but man, I need some boundaries. <laughs> it really has me stressed. Some people, some people think it's not work. Yes, Annie. Oh my gosh. Um, we have, me and Bobby have had this talk a lot, a lot of times. And um, yeah, D says, are we covering business precautions for that as well? And yeah, we'll talk some of that too. And, um, and paint party headquarters opens in May, but you really need to get into this boot camp because there may, may be a surprise about paint party headquarters about that. And um, so, so yeah, so, um, Annie, I wish I could be like, yes, I have it all figured out. But when, when, um, Bobby is here all the time and then Pixie is here a lot. Yeah. Like here's a little chair that Bobby comes and sits on when he comes to visit. And I'm like, it's a work day. I am at work. Like, don't come in. <laughs> You know what I mean? But no, um, there's definitely boundaries like, you know, I'll have my meetings scheduled for the day and things that I'm doing. And then um, like even last night, I was like, okay, I'm getting up at 7 a.m. because I'm filming something and then I need to be ready for this meeting and that meeting. And so like I, I prepped, like pretty much was like, Bobby, this is what's happening. So I'm, and then I have a dentist appointment, so I won't see you until like nine o'clock at night. And so I think sometimes you really, like you just have to, I wish I could be like, this is the best, but, um, but yeah, I, I, I'm still a work in progress with that. Okay. So, um, Samantha says, how do PPHQ people get into this? I missed that. Samantha, anybody in paint party headquarters go to the announcements. Now I'm going to show y'all really quick for everybody who is wanting to do the boot camp, And then I'm going to show y'all, 
I'm going to give you a couple tips on how to get, um, get out of a funk. D says, I want to come back to Texas for a big, I know, I want you to too. I want to see your awesome hair. Okay, so let me see here. Let me show you. So all of y'all in Paint Party Headquarters, you go to the announcements. That's how you're going to get your ticket to this. Everyone else, it's only $15. I mean, seriously, like that's two cups of coffee if you go to Starbucks. And I'm going to be giving you three full days. So it is over, over, I promise you will not regret it, even if you just watch the, um, the replay. So here's what it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to basically sign up. It's not 237. It's only $15. Okay. So now, um, I have a little thing right here about how paint parties have changed my life and you can list. It's only a, a cup, a minute and 23 seconds. If you want to watch my video and then here's what we're going to do. I'm actually going to take you shopping with me um, through live video. So I'm going to basically embarrass myself and be live while we go shopping together. So there may be a Starbucks stop on the way. And I, y'all know I love to give away prizes. So and those of y'all that are live, probably that will happen. <laughs> Not probably, for sure that will happen. And so just putting in the $15 with a chance to win all the prizes is, is also really fun. And day one, you're going to learn this. So again, this whole thing, if you want to read over this more, hey, Marlene, hey, Corrine, is it Corrine or Corinne? And um, Patricia, Holly, Bobby, hey, guys, um, right here, day one, I'm going to teach you step by step how to paint this painting. So you're going to know step by step how to do that. Then, oh, Madeline says, I can hardly wait to attend. I am so excited. Like, Y'all don't realize I get as excited as I think y'all get. I'm, I'm, I think I get more excited because I know what you're going to learn and get from this. Um, day two, this is pretty amazing. We have never, ever done this. In the history of all the things we've done, I've done some streaming. I've done a few things here and there, but we have never done where I have a full live paint party happening and you are watching it from the comfort of your own home. So you're going to see streaming into the group, the private group. You're going to see me in action, setting up, cleaning up, like actually at a live paint party, not a pretend paint party, but a for real paint party. Oh, thank you, Sheila, for sending those stars. You're so sweet. Um, you're going to see me in person, like legit, you know, doing the paint party, doing what I love so, so much. And then day three, we're going to break it down. So then it's your turn. We're going to talk about this. I'm going to provide an exact script to book your paint parties fast. We're going to talk about how you can do that yourself. Now, some of you may, and again, you can pay here. We have bonus marketing materials. So if you do decide to do this as a paint party, look. We have everything ready, so you can immediately go for it. So, so excited. I'm so, so excited to teach you this. So you're getting a pre-event shopping trip. You're getting three days of online training where I'm going to um, go crazy with the prizes and the fun. And then you're getting supply list and instructions, all of that for 15 bucks. So even if you just want to learn to teach this painting and have some fun with prizes, this is for you. Like literally, you could skip day two and day three. But I think what happens a lot of times is people learn how to paint something or they paint something that they didn't realize they could. And then they're like, oh, and then somebody sees it. And then you end up teaching somebody. Then the next thing you know, you're like, oh, I just made $200 for helping teach somebody how to do this. So real quick, who is this for? It's for the person wanting to learn how to paint this flower painting. It's for the person thinking about starting a paint party business to make extra money. You don't have to be that person, but you could. And go ahead and put boot camp if you want to know more about this, and we'll give you the link. Number three is for the person excited to learn something new. And number four, the person that wants to be a fly on the wall and learn how to teach a paint party and everything in between. Now, who is this not for? This is not for the person that is not really wanting to paint. Okay, so if that's you, please don't sign up. <laughs> and then majorly, most importantly right here, this is not, I repeat, this is not for the person with a negative attitude. This is a happy place, okay? So I repeat, if you are coming in being a meanie, this is not for you. So, um... So for those of y'all that have questions or if you want to know more, just type the word boot camp. We will um, 
come back in and we'll give you the link where you can sign up. Go ahead and sign up um, as soon as possible because what's going to happen is you're going to be able to get into the group. You're going to be able to start like getting your bearings, know where everything is. You can get your tracer out if you want to trace. I'm going to teach you how to do it freehand and traced. So you'll have both options. Um, and then you're going to be able to start getting excited because we go live on March 16th at 7 p.m. Central. So you are gonna wanna be in there, settled, ready to go. Okay, so just type boot camp if you want more information. Okay, so I'm going to tell you real quick how to get out of a funk, okay? So this is for people who are right now, like how many of y'all right now are feeling just, we're just ready for spring. Who out there is ready for sun? Like, literally, like, I just want warm sun, especially when Texas, like, froze over. I mean, it was the best when that Sunday came, and it was so, so pretty. I mean, I laid outside. I ended up, like, almost falling asleep. Um, oh, Becca, thank you so much for sharing your prayers and blessings for painting. Oh, you're so welcome. So, um, yeah, Wendy says, tell me. Mary says, tell me. Okay, so this is not, like, advice for somebody who's in, like, a... Uh, um, like deep state of depression. Like I'm not sitting here saying I can clinically, you know, help you with that. So everybody that's on here, please hear me on that. But what I am saying is when I get in a funk, because I think as creatives, we, um, we kind of sometimes go through this kind of a roller coaster with our emotions. And I don't know if it's because we get so excited about so many things and we want to do so many things that we get excited and then finally we're like so tired because by the time we thought about all the things we want to do, we're exhausted and then we don't know where to start because we're overwhelmed and we've gone 500 directions. Like, is that just me? I don't think that's just me. Like, I know some of y'all are that way too. Um, so what I do when I am in a funk and I just feel like I am just overwhelmed, I can't get any traction, I am feel like I'm on a hamster wheel spinning my wheels 100 miles an hour. So it's not rocket science. So y'all, this is what I do. This is what I did before COVID. So me and Pixie, we would go get a Starbucks or a coffee. We would go to somewhere like Barnes and Nobles. And so again, if you can't go there because they're closed, obviously you're going to have to figure out something else. But what I would do, um, Sandy says, that's a great description. So me, so where I am right now. Okay, so listen to this. It's not, it's not rocket science and this is not the be all end all, but I'm just going to give you some of the things that I do that help me so much. So pre-COVID, when we could always go to Barnes and Nobles, we would go there just, we would drive 40 minutes just to go there. We'd put on some music, we'd drive, we'd get a coffee, and we would go pick out every, like she would pick out her books in the children's section. I would go pick out every art magazine, inspiring travel magazine, all the different things that I love. And I would have like 20. And then we would meet in the kids section. I would squeeze my butt. I'd squeeze my butt into an Adirondack chair, the little kid's Adirondack chair. And then we would sit there and for like two hours and she would read her books and I would read my magazines and I would just get inspired. I would just get inspired by having, seeing other people's stuff and seeing travel places I want to go and one day hopefully get to go to. And I would be so excited. Like by the time I left there and we always make sure we buy the coffee and we always buy like one book or one magazine just to make sure because we don't want to like put them out of business like you want to still buy from them too and so we would put everything up where it went like that was our big rule like if we're going to go do this we always put all of it up because I'm reading 20 magazines I'm going to go put all the magazines where they go and then of course I end up buying one or two of them and so um that two hours oh my gosh it's like it saves me it's like it mentally helps me just you know like be okay, right? It just helps me go, okay, I can be inspired. Hold on one second. My dog is um, going crazy. Can y'all add to that and talk amongst yourselves really quick? I'm going to go grab my dog before he attacks somebody and then I will be right back because I want to tell you another thing since COVID that I do. Look.
Okay, sorry y'all. Blue wants to be involved. Here's Blue. <laughs> Did y'all hear his bark? He's so crazy, but it worked because we, um, oh, thanks for all the hearts. Sorry y'all. Um, it works because I have two other things I can show you too. Blue, you wanna share with him? Oh, you're such a good guard dog. He will attack too. He's an old man, but he's a good one. Um, and then the other thing, <laughs> the other thing I wanted to share with you, if you if you can't go to a place like Barnes and Nobles, sorry, I was kind of running. I really need to go going for walks. <laughs> going for walks would be good for for your heart as well. I was running. Okay, so okay, so the next thing is is if you can't go for walks, what I've been doing the past year is I have been getting, don't judge, but I love Us Weekly, and I love tons of, I have so many books that I read, like business books, but a lot of times, I really love the magazine, Success Magazine, and Us Weekly, and I love just taking a bath and reading my magazines, and then that way, I can just totally be like, not thinking about what, you know, everything, because you can't, you can't think business all the time. I know, isn't Blue cute? He has like an allergy, if anybody knows anything. He keeps scratching his little, his little paw right there, and he's like 15 years, he's almost 15 years old. He's an old man. He's so, so cute. So, um, so that's kind of my go-to as well. So just taking a bath, reading a magazine. And then for those of y'all that are actually, I know some of y'all saw this book and some of y'all are reading it. So Lee says, I'm actually reading Big Magic at the moment. Such a fun read. Yes, this is one of my favorite go-to books. So if you have not read it yet, screenshot this. And then I know it has some cuss words in it. So please make sure <laughs> if you're if you're a person who doesn't like cuss words, just you know beep yourself out. I don't know, just beep when you get to those parts. But it's really, really, really good for that. And um, it has so much stuff with just like getting over your fear. And then another thing I've been doing the past few months is I got this really cool journal when we went to Disney. And uh, Melanie says, best book ever. Yeah, it really helped. Christy says, Benadryl for allergies for dogs help as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Christy. Um, Samantha says, I just finished Big Magic. Awesome, awesome book. It is so good. Y'all, I'm telling you, if you have fear about going live, doing anything, anything, read this. Y'all, I mean, life is short. We can't just be sitting there in fear all the time. So if you've been thinking, oh yeah, I'd like to do that painting and maybe think about a paint party business, but I'm scared to sign up because if I don't do it, I'm going to feel like I'm being rejected. Just sign up and then read this book and you will not care what anybody thinks <laughs> about what you're doing anymore. I read this years ago and now I could care less what my second cousin, twice removed, blah, 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 friend from high school, like I don't care what they think. I mean, it'd be nice if everybody liked me and thought it was all great and didn't think I was the crazy art girl. But honestly, I don't care because I know my mission in life is, is, you know, I'm supposed to share God's love through art. I'm supposed to help you make money teaching paint parties. I know that I'm supposed to do that. I know as a creative that we're really creative, but a lot of times on the, the marketing side of things, we don't know anything because we're emotional and we're, we're, you know, God's like given us that gift of like, you know, having the ability to do all of these creative things. But then with that, naturally, Naturally, the marketing side usually doesn't follow, but I love the marketing side as much as I love the painting side. So that's where I feel like I can really, really help you because I can help you go, okay, yes, you have those talents. Now let me help you make money for your family with that. So if you're scared of rejection or being embarrassed about putting yourself out there, read and <laughs> just do the audio book if you don't want to read the whole thing and then just just bleep whenever it says the cuss words if it's if it's offending you and then the next thing is i got this journal you can get any journal i have a thousand journal not a thousand but i probably have a hundred journals around my house and it, sandy says we love the crazy art girl <laughs> that's so funny um right here so any kind of journal go to marshall's some of my best journals actually like i have them all over the desk which i saw at the beginning are the Marshall's journals. And um, these are actually my favorite. Let me let me put Blue down. He might bark. Blue, you wanna say bye? He might bark, hopefully. Don't bark. Please don't bark. Okay. 
So um, this one is my favorite, and Marshalls has them all the time. Um, I think I pay $5.99 for them, but they're really good. Like you always gotta fill the paper. Fill the paper, because when you're getting, when you're trying to get yourself out of a funk, when you're trying to, to um, you know, get yourself motivated to do something, you need to find tools that help you get out of that funk. Because if you don't, you're gonna end up staying in it. Nobody can do anything great when they're stuck in a funk. Um, Carla says, I'm struggling to be a good, hold on. I'm struggling to be a good record keeper. Receipts in a bag occasionally recorded. Yeah, Carla, as you saw, if you saw my desk at the beginning, you will see that I struggle with that too. I think that's a part of the art, artsy side of us. Um, so I have like a file in my closet that I just try to throw everything in there. Um, Charlotte says, yes, you have to just do it. Get over it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, Angie, oh yeah, if you have a good book, please recommend it. Angie says, Atomic Habits and Untamed are also great. That's awesome. So here's in here like different drawings and ideas. So for example, for example, we have like I have different things. So when I was coming up with the painting for y'all for paint paint party and um, paint and business, I actually had I have a painting here that I'm coming up with. I'm not going to show because I'm still going to do it. But um, but I wanted to write down. Let me see if I have them here too. Okay, so there was the bunny that I had come up with. So it's just chicken scratch. But this is a bunny painting that I did. I think I can show y'all. So, Oh, man. I'm losing stuff. Hold on. Okay, so this right here. Let me show you. Okay, so this was kind of chicken scratch that I, that I drew. And then, again, when you have a journal or something, you can just kind of free draw it you know just don't worry what it looks like too much and then this is the painting that ended up out of that so when you're doing stuff so let me show you like this so again just kind of chicken scratch drawing so there was my chicken scratch drawing and then I brought it to that okay so it doesn't have to be like this this crazy good drawing whenever you're coming up with stuff um, I have a lot, a lot of stuff in here that, um, that I'm coming up with. So like really cool things about what people, like um, all different kinds of things happening in here that I'm coming up with all the time. So there's just so many, many things that you could be putting into your journal. And I think sometimes people, um, like the, the ladies and lattes, like just so many, so many great things. A lot of ideas I can't share yet. So what I want you to do, oh yeah, Sandy, if you're in, we've already said two announcements inside of um, Paint Party Headquarters that you do not have to pay if you're in Paint Party Headquarters. <laughs> I think I've shouted it like 50 times. But, and there's also in the announcements where you don't have to pay if you're a part of Paint Party Headquarters. So remember, Paint Party Headquarters members, go to the announcements inside and then you don't have to pay for it. And um, everyone else, it's only $15. So make sure you check it out. All right, any other questions before I go? Um, for those of y'all that want to go into your business, are we allowed to use your paintings and teach in teaching our classes? Will there be like one a month? Yeah, Leslie. So inside of Paint Party Headquarters, that's what that's all about. So every month I give you a new design. We have well over 100 designs. Um, I think we have like 130 designs and I also give you 15 SVGs every single month. Um, so if you join the boot camp, just make sure <laughs> you stay till day three because I have a really cool announcement about that. Um, oh, sorry, I missed it, love you. Oh, no problem, no problem. I know, I don't, and I kept making sure, I'll, I like I wanna make sure y'all know in Paint Party Headquarters because if not, we do refunds, which is fine. It's just, it takes more time for my team. Y'all have to email, then we have to refund. And then we could be working on something else really cool. So um, everybody in Paint Party Headquarters, you get it for free. And um, everyone else, if you're brand new to me and you want to be a part of this, just type the word boot camp, the word boot camp, and then we are going to give you, and also the link is in the um, instructions. But this is the painting I'm going to be teaching you. I actually painted three paintings before I came up with this one for y'all because I wanted to make sure it was really, really good. And then you're going to be able to use all different kinds of stuff. Now, let me show you what, do y'all want to see what the Facebook group looks like already? We have some cool stuff going on. Let me see. Let me know in the comments if you want to see kind of like where, 
where it's being hosted. Let me see how it's looking. Exciting. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. We like to um we like to overboard things in when we do something we like to do, we like to do things all out. <laughs> Leslie says yes. <laughs> okay, so right now we so once you get once you pay, it's 15 bucks, and then you're gonna get an email right away. After you get the email, you'll also request to be in Paint Party Headquarters. Now, I'm sorry, in um, the Paint and Business Bootcamp. If you're in Paint Party Headquarters, you just go to Announcements and it'll automatically put you in there. So here's what it looks like, Sandy, and all of y'all out there watching. Okay, so we have 58 of y'all waiting to get in. So we just opened this group um, Monday night. So we have 310 of y'all already. And so what I want to share with you is like what we have is right here we have a, a welcome video that talks all about what's going to happen. We also talk about all the prizes that are going to be giving away. Oh, Sandy, it's your first boot camp. Everybody say, welcome, Sandy. She's going to love it. Oh, my gosh, you're going to have so much fun. Um, so we have all the stuff that's going to happen here. We have when the shopping trip's going to happen. And all of this is going to be done inside of this private Facebook group. Okay. So you have to be in the Facebook group in order for a chance to, to win the prizes in order for a chance to, um, learn all of these paintings and things like that. So then we have, um, not only do we have that, we have in our announcements, we already have set up, we have the supply list. So when you get in there, you can start going through this. Now, again, this whole thing is going to be taught live. So we have like tracers ready, like right here. This is a six minute video on how to trace it. I show you step by step, just so you can be ready. Christy, this will be your first boot camp. Heather, oh my gosh, Christy and Heather, welcome. Ah, this is so cool. Let's see, Debbie said, I'd like to get the paint party info for my daughter who is talented but doesn't paint anymore. Well, Debbie, come on in. We will welcome you into the boot camp so that you can you can get that information. So like here, we have this pre-trace video ready and we have supply list ready so that you can go ahead and get kind of ready for the party. But you don't have to trace it if you don't want to. I'm gonna teach you how to do it freehand. Um, and then what we're gonna do is all that other fun stuff is going to be taught live. So I'm telling you, like March 16th at 7 p.m., I'm gonna be with you live in that group. March 17th, probably at five o'clock, at six o'clock, at seven o'clock, like you're gonna be with me the whole night. And um, seeing me set up, clean up, actually teaching a paint party, you're gonna be a fly on the wall watching it happen. So if you, like when I first started teaching paint parties, I remember going to YouTube finding the tipsy artist, which I was obsessed with. And I would, I'd be teaching and I'd be on break or we'd have something in the gym where all the specials teachers were together. And I would literally be like zooming in or pausing just to go, how did she, how did she lay that pencil? Did she lay it this way or did she lay it this way? Like I wanted to know everything, right? I wanted to know exactly what was happening. And so, um, and so you're going to be able to see it all. You're going to be able to watch exactly what I'm doing, whether or not you take that and want to do one yourself, that's up to you. And then day three, we're going to break it down. And then we're going to have a huge thing of prizes, grand prizes, all of that fun stuff too. Yeah, Leslie, she is. I love her so much. So, um, so I can't wait. So again, if you want to join the boot camp, type the word boot camp. Um, if you have not texted me yet, screenshot this. Hold on. Let me change it over. If you have not texted me yet, screenshot this so you can text me after. I'll leave it up for three, two, one. Okay, just text me boot camp, all one word, and then we'll be able to get you some information that way too. Um, and then we're going to get started. So make sure you check it out. Um, it's going to be so much fun. You're not going to want to miss it. And um, you are definitely, if you can be there live, you're going to want to be there live. If not, you'll have access to it forever. And um, the group will stay open until March 31st. Then we'll archive it, but you'll still have access to everything you need. 
All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. And for those of y'all that are in a funk, know that spring is right around the corner. We're about to have some warmer weather. We're about to be able to get outside more and um, read good books, read things that, you know, that inspire you, that make you want to take action. And then also, I am a huge believer in prayer. I pray for big, big dreams. I pray for God to show me opportunities. Um, we serve a big God. And I really believe that sometimes we get bogged down in life and we forget to just stop and be grateful and thank God for what he's doing and also pray big. Um, you know, God is the giver of dreams and he did not give you these big dreams for you not to take action with them. So I'm excited to help you take that very next step so that you can take a hundred more steps after. So anyway, I hope this helps you and I'll see you on the boot camp. All right, bye guys.